Hello and welcome to uh, Andy's Commercial Repair. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to do, uh, you know, um, uh, maintenance, uh, repair, preventive maintenance, I would say, on your RoboCoop R2 model. Uh, just your typical R2 unit that most of the people use on a regular basis. Uh, this uh, video will be about uh, preventive maintenance by replacing your uh, upper uh, seal, motor seal. Um, that seal prevents the uh, unit from uh, getting liquid, moisture, debris going into the motor housing and basically damaging and destroying the upper bearing of the motor. It's a very simple procedure, anybody can do it. I feel like a lot of people skip that uh, process. They, they either don't know how to do it or they just basically ignore the fact that you have to do it. Uh, preventive maintenance is very important in any piece of equipment, but the, particularly for this type of uh, uh, equipment like food processors, it's very important because uh, that seal, the, upper seal that's on the top of the unit, that little brown thing right here, it stops the moisture and liquid from getting inside your motor. So if you don't wanna damage your thousand dollar piece of equipment, you might as well replace it. It's only a $25 part, can be done within a few minutes with a few tools that you probably have lying around your house. It's extremely simple and uh, doesn't require any finesse or particular knowledge or skills. Um, part number for the particular seal, it's 501010S. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, I highly recommend it buying OEM part from Robocoop, just like the one right here. I'm showing you guys. Uh, the kit comes with a, mm, seal itself which is basically a brown rubber ring reinforced with a little uh, coil spring in the center um, a container of um, silicone grease that goes under the seal itself and uh, instruction manual for some reason most of them are <laughs> both in French and English, I guess, because Robocoop is a French company, they always include the instructions in both languages. A picture shows you right here how to go around and deal with it. It's a little inaccurate because it actually shows you using the silicone grease and squirting it into opening of a motor shaft, which you will never have access to, as I soon show you how you remove that seal and you actually only have access to upper housing of the of the RoboCoop itself. In order to actually um, end up putting the grease inside the shaft assembly right here, you have to take the upper housing and do so. I'm assuming the picture is kind of uh, referring to the situation when you're actually rebuilding the unit, replacing the bearing and you're replacing the seal um, at the same time. That way you have the access to do it. In our situation, we don't. Um, all you need to do is use some of the silicone grease and squirt it right on the knee, the actual seal itself all around it. And I recommend it squirt as much as you can inside the shaft itself. And that will do basically, that will basically uh, help you uh, prevent the moisture and debris uh, from sipping through and uh, getting into it. Uh, without a further ordeal, I just want to show you guys what you're going to need besides the seal itself. You're going to need a rubber mallet. Anybody can get it. Or like a light duty hammer. A piece of PVC pipe, three quarter inch in diameter. I mean, uh, you could use something else, but you know, that's pretty straightforward. A piece of a paper towel, or just a regular clock of some sort for cleaning. Uh, your Words best right here, WD-40, uh, just to give a little uh, lubrication for removal. Usually that seal is pretty seized up and stuck in there. 
and uh, that's something you could use just to loop it a little bit and get it going over there and just to get out of the uh, shaft itself and some type of uh, poker uh, you could use ice pick you could use uh, a large needles I found those little um, I don't even know how you call that um, uh, it's like a spike, I would say, of some sort, sharpened at the end. Literally, and any hardware store has a kit like that. One is a bent one, one is a straight one. They come in a set of three or four, but literally one will do. Second one is just to give you a little leverage. So without a four little deal, uh, I'll do uh, the way you do it. It's pretty straightforward. This is your RoboCoop right here. This is your upper seal right here. So what you do, you spray a little of a WD-40 right in the opening right here. You let it suck for a minute, spread it all around it. There's always a little gaps in there, especially when the seals start wearing out. And next thing you do, you grab your poker, you grab your sharp tool, and you try to get it right here between the shaft and the seal itself move the little wiggling around and next thing you know the seal comes right off as you can see this one is already severely damaged uh it's all wear out and as you can see right inside here it's a lot of goo and dirt and stuff like that so what you do you spray a little wd-40 i wouldn't recommend using any of the grease or anything like that because uh that stuff can get into the motor assembly Next thing you do is a paper towel, put a little bit more in there. Use your poking, poker so you can actually remove some of the goo and dirt that's built up over there over the period of time. You loosen it up. I am not gonna be doing like a really good job over here on it. I'll remove most of it just for the show of the presentation. I remove as much as I can. I will be rebuilding this unit because the bearing on it, it's already messed up and this is what happened. Somebody let it go for, for a longer period of time, ride the unit very, very hard. Um, the the seal wear out, of course. I mean, uh, you know, that's what happens, you know. And the moisture got in, dirt got in and I start eating the bearing out. So now, even the unit runs, I run it just today just to see how it sounds. You can hear the noise, like the upper bearing is already, uh, it's already making a not terrible noise, not like noise that you would say, oh my God, this thing is like sounding like a, a rocket ship, but it does sound loud. And that just tells you right there that there was a certain amount of time, a short amount of time, I would say, it could be months, few months, it could be a year, maybe even less, depending how hard you ride as units you will face the situation when this bearing just seizes up. And the moment the bearing seizes up, the motor stops working. And then you have to replace the bearings and that's a hell of an ordeal. It's a process of at least two hours, require kind of technical knowledge and, uh, and uh, you know, time. Uh, one of those days I will show you guys a video how to do it. It's, it's, a, it's a process, it, it takes a little while. Um, I've done it several times already on those units. Um, it's not really expensive to do so, because bearings are not very expensive. The bearing might cost maybe like in you know, the price range of six, seven dollars a piece for a good quality bearing. But the process of doing it, it's it's pretty intense, takes a lot of time, and you know, very. That's why very often people, as soon as that motor stops spinning and start making buzzing noise, like it's seized up, they give up on it. They think it's already burned out. But what it really is, it's. Uh, it's the bearing that stopped working. Anyhow, I got it all cleaned up over here for the most part, as you guys can see. This is the opening right here. I got a new bearing right here. I got my silicone grease that comes with it. I'm gonna squirt a bunch of it right on the knee. Uh, the actual seal itself. There's a pretty big tube that comes with it, so I highly recommend use as much as you can. What the, what the silicone grease does, it actually uh, prevents the moisture from uh, 
inhabiting the area and squirt some more right along the area of a shaft as well, whatever you have left. So most of them is gonna go, most of this grease is gonna go under the actual seal. Whatever remains, I will just squirt right underneath there where the seal actually goes. Use the whole tube, I would say. Don't be stingy. You don't have to do like a great job of spreading around because uh, what happens is once the units start running, uh, the temperature rises up and uh, the centrifugal, <laughs> the center force of the shaft itself is gonna actually spread the grease all around it. If you can see me spinning the shaft right here, you can see the grease spinning all around it. So anyhow, I got the grease underneath the seal. I got the, uh, uh, the rest of the grease on the shaft area as well. I'm gonna pop the, pair, the, the seal on the top of the shaft right now, just like that. Okay. And here is the trick. You work it slowly with your hands, press it with both hands, and then you use the three quarter inch plastic pipe to push the seal all the way down. I wipe the excess grease with a towel all around it and that's how you just replace your upper motor housing seal on R2 unit RoboCoop. That applies to all the R2 units and I think R100 also utilizes that. I'm not sure. I think R100 actually doesn't have upper seal. I think they are fully enclosed. Um, but a lot of uh, RoboCoop units do utilize similar type of seals. It might be different in size, it might be different uh, in, uh, I would say shape is about the same. Uh, but this is typical for R2s though. Uh, the process I would say will be pretty much the same on, on the units that utilize uh, this kind of seal that conceals the uh, upper bearing over here, prevents it from uh, moisture getting in and liquid getting in. So here's the question, so how often do I change it? And um, um, when do I know I need to change it? If I, the timing is not the, not the situation here. I would say the manufacturer says every six months, I think it's ridiculous. I don't think you do put that much use into the unit to change it every six months. Um, and it really depends on what you do with those units. The more liquid you blend, so aiolis, dressings, a puree, stuff that has a lot of water in it, a lot of moisture. Because what happens is, as soon as you overfill the bowl, some of the liquid's gonna sip through the opening, go, overflow the, uh, the bowl and spill right in the center of the shaft. And if the seal is damaged, if the seal is already wear out, that moisture is gonna get into, inside the unit and slowly the bearing away. So the best way around it is, I would say timing is not really um, a spectrum here. I would say, look at, the, um, look at the shape of the seal. The moment you start seeing openings uh, between the shaft and the seal itself, like you can see a little gap, tiny little gap, like you can see the light coming through there. Uh, replace it and if you run your RoboCoop really really hard if you use it on a regular basis for many many cycles through the day every single day in your restaurant I would just do it once a year however if you just do it on like you know uh, sporadic occasions uh, using it every once in a while and it doesn't really utilize a lot of liquid I wouldn't worry about it like I have a couple units that have been in circulation uh, in our kitchen for like many years and we have never changed the seals because they only operate like once twice a week and it's all dry stuff so there's no moisture really involved and you can literally don't see any any damage to the seal itself but people who utilize them for many many years and ride them hard and ride them with a lot of liquid I highly recommend changing those frequently because changing seal it's like changing oil in your car it's cheaper to change your oil than change your engine as the sign always say so seal is only 25 bucks. It's a piece of rubber uh, kind of o-ring with a little reinforcements in it. 
you get the whole assembly, you get the whole, whole kit that comes with it, um, get the silicone grease that comes with it. I mean, a couple tools, as I say, a couple pokers, ice picks, anything sharp, rubber mallet, piece of PVC pipe, if you're not able to do it with your fingers, like I just did, and uh, a little B40, and you're in business. Uh, so yeah, pretty straightforward. This is what I wanna show you guys. Uh, something can prevent uh, your unit from getting damaged and extend its life and make it run for years to come. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I hope you enjoy my videos and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.